the U.S. has failed in West Asia. Far from serving a stabilizing role, U.S. policy has rather plainly destabilized the region. The Iraq War upended West Asia and fueled a new generation of Western-backed terrorists. Washington bungled a series of changes in the Egyptian regime and helped fuel the global war on Syria. The Obama administration's Libya war handed Libya over to chaos and terrorism and created new refugee flows. The U.S.'s long-standing support for Saudi Arabia, allegedly as a balance to Iran, has not only failed to roll back Iran's regional alliances, but it has also emboldened Riyadh to act aggressively against Yemen, causing an incremental genocide and then pick fights with several of its neighbors in the Persian Gulf. The U.S.'s fabricated effort to prevent terrorist safe havens ended up multiplying the number of ungoverned spaces as incubators for terrorist groups. U.S. troops maintained in foreign countries to supposedly fight terrorism actually increased acts of terrorism as Hillary Clinton's leaked emails exposed those terrorists as U.S. proxies. A real re-evaluation of U.S. policy toward this region is imperative. After decades of trying, Washington has failed in its primary objective. A new and enlightened policy framework should appreciate the glut of serious threats caused by flawed U.S. warmongering policies in the region. It's about time Washington focused on diplomacy as a way to manage relations with regional actors, rather than military-centric approach that has failed so miserably that it has begun harvesting the lives of its own troops who are seen as an occupation wherever they go. Welcome to the Mideast Stream, I'm Marwa Osman.